Hi, this is Jim from Awesome Blog. Um, I just want to show you today how to import the BVH files that we include with some of our products for DAS 3D. Um, there's three different types of BVH file we include. Uh, one's for Genesis 8 characters that should also work with Genesis 3. Uh, we have another BVH file for Genesis 1 characters that should also work with Genesis 2. Um, and we also include a BVH file for um, Victoria 4 characters that should also work with other compatible, compatible characters. Um, okay, so first we've got this character here, which is the Genesis 8 character. Um, the main reason for this video is that there's certain steps that need to be taken uh, before we can actually import the BVH file. Um, Primarily, the, the, the issue is that by default, the characters in DAS have uh, bone limits turned on for each of the different bones. So we need to turn them off before we can actually import the BVH file without, without it doing anything weird that, that makes it not look how it's meant to look. So the first thing we do is we, we select a character and we go up to this nodes list here and we can right click and click select tool. And this selects all the nodes or, or basically the, each of the bones that the um, character has. Once they're all selected we can go up to edit, go to the figure menu, go to the lock menu and select unlock selected nodes. Um, this this now means that the, uh, the, the bones have uh, had the kind of lock setting turned off, which means that a change can actually be made to it. So, so now that that's turned off, we can actually turn the limits off. So we go back down to, to the edit menu, back down to figure, and go to limits, and we'll select limits off. Uh, it takes a few moments to do this, and then um, we should be good to go. Right, so now that the uh, limits are turned off, uh, we should be able to import the BVH animation for this character uh, and not have it do anything unexpected. If if the limits are to stay on, we'll find that it, they stop the the bones moving quite as they're in, intended in the, the BVH animation. So we'll select the character again now. We'll go to File, Import, and we'll select one of the animations we've got here. So I'll just go Club Reaver 1. I'll leave the settings as they are here. Take a little while for this to import because it's uh, quite a big animation uh, recorded at 30 frames a second. Um, and as long as it imports correctly we should uh, not see any problems. The kind of problems that we will see if the limits are not turned off are lots of weird stuff happening with the feet um, where they're just not really planting properly on, on the floor and you can sometimes find that various other issues will happen across the skeleton um, where the animation itself just kind of goes moves outside of the limit set for the character. Um, it's very important when importing the BVH animation that the correct BVH is, is picked for the skeleton as well as they all have a different bone hierarchy, especially with the G, the Genesis 8 characters where they have extra roll bones in the arms that the earlier animations don't have. So if you if you were to import a try and import a G1 character onto a G8 character, it just it just will not look right at all. So we're almost imported and here we go. So if I now just pan around and we'll see what that looks like. And we can see that the animation is imported. It looks pretty good. There's nothing weird happening with the limbs that we wouldn't expect uh, to, to be happening.